This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the structure of benzene. Benzene is an aromatic unsaturated hydrocarbon. Its molecular formula is C6H6 and its empirical formula is CH. Here we have the symbol for benzene. On the right, you can see the space filling model of benzene. Next, we'll have a look at the brief history of benzene. So in 1865, this man, whose name is Frederick August Kekul, suggested that benzene contained a ring of six carbon atoms with alternating single and double bonds. So here we have the Kekul structure of benzene consisting of alternating single and double bonds. Because we can draw more than one Lewis structure for the structure of benzene, it exists in two resonance structures, which you can see here. The structure of benzene may also be seen as these two structures here, which are resonance structures. However, the actual structure of benzene is a resonance hybrid structure with delocalized electrons. So next we'll have a look at some reasons why the Kekul structure of benzene with its alternating single and double bonds does not accurately represent the bonding in benzene. So the first reason is that the carbon to carbon bonds in benzene are of identical length and strength. If we look at the resonance structures of benzene, we'd expect the single bonds to be longer and weaker and the double bonds to be shorter and stronger. However, measurements have shown that all the bonds in benzene are of equal length and strength. Here we can see the resonance hybrid structure of benzene. This straight line with a dotted line suggests that all the bond lengths and strengths are the same between the carbon atoms. So the length and strength of the carbon to carbon bonds in benzene are intermediate between a single and a double bond. The next reason is the enthalpy of hydrogenation of benzene is less than predicted. Here we have the equation of the hydrogenation of cyclohexene. Cyclohexene has one double bond and that reacts with one mole of hydrogen to form one mole of cyclohexane. The enthalpy change for this reaction is negative 120 kilojoules per mole. If we look at the equation for the hydrogenation of benzene, which according to the Kekul structure has three double bonds, we'd expect the enthalpy change to be three times as much as our first reaction. However, the enthalpy change for the hydrogenation of benzene is negative 210 kilojoules per mole which is less than the expected value, which would be negative 360 kilojoules per mole. And the reason for this is that the delocalization of electrons in benzene minimizes the repulsion between the electrons, lowering the internal energy by 150 kilojoules per mole, which is known as the resonance energy. Next, benzene undergoes substitution reactions rather than addition reactions, which is what you'd expect if benzene contained three double bonds. In this reaction, benzene undergoes a substitution reaction with bromine to form bromobenzene and hydrogen bromide. And our final reason is that only one isomer exists for compounds such as 1,2-dibromobenzene. So here we have the structure of the only isomer for 1,2-dibromobenzene. If benzene had two resonance structures, you'd expect to have two different isomers, but only one is produced. So the bonding in benzene is best described by the delocalization of pi electrons. The pi electrons form a delocalized pi electron cloud above and below the plane of the ring, which you can see represented by these green areas in this diagram. And once again, we have the resonance hybrid structure of benzene in which the carbon to carbon bonds are all of equal length and equal strength. And finally, we have the symbol for benzene. The circle in the middle represents the delocalized pi electrons. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.